all right so truth discuss firstly the sir thomas moore's utopia and john lilly's the anatomy of weeds these two major texts and at the same time we would also discuss the restoration and elizabethan non fiction and if there were any kinds of novel or the precursors of the novel but before that let us have the reminder of the uh, let us recapitulate what we have discussed in the previous class first of all we have discussed one particular terminology the, what was that that was the prose romans so first we started with fiction all the types of fictions including short stories including novella and novel then we also discussed the first type of prose or uh, first type of novel that was the prose romance and the kinds of prose romances so that was what we have already discussed and some instances of the prose romances particularly from the medieval to the elizabethan age sir thomas mallory's morte uh, de arthur sir thomas moore's utopia sir philip sidney's arcadia thomas lodge's rosalind so we also ask to have your own notes on these four or five texts including john lilly's the anatomy of wheat that was the initiative we have started from the previous class that uh, to complete in a day five major texts right so that would end in almost 150 text all right if we uh, every day do that but uh, every day we do not have classes so let us have to let us have the target to complete 100 or up to 80 texts major texts in a month so we would be able to complete the entire syllabus within 3 or 4 months all right so we would have our target to complete five major texts in a class all right within the duration of two classes we would complete five texts so i ask to complete sir thomas moore's morte the arthur or uh, arthur that is one arthurian story the arthur and the round table the knight's story and sir thomas moore's utopia sir philip sidney's arcadia thomas lodge's rosalind and the anatomy of wit by john lilly and today we are supposed to start from the next texts like the new atlantis john bunyan's the grace abounding abounding and the pilgrim's progress robert green's pandosto and walter scott's rob roy alexander dumas the three musketeers all right and emily bronte's uthering heights so these are some examples of the major prose romances we will go one by one later on all right now what we more discussed is what is adventure novel and some of the adventure novels are the defoe's robinson crusoe the robert louis stevenson's the treasure island h rider haggard's the king solomon's mines rudyard kipling's scheme and what is adventure novel adventure novel is simply the elizabethan influence and the elizabethan culture of colonization so what they tried to do they tried to spread their uh, empire in the name of trade all right so started the adventurous journeys after the great charter all right passed in the elizabethan period then we also discussed how the prose romance of the earlier time is different from the romance novels romance novel is a complete different concept from the earlier prose romances if you remember we had the chivalric romance in the early anglo norman period all right for example the matter of rome the matter of france all right the matter of uh, britain matter of britain matter of rome and matter of france these were the romances earlier chivalric uh, romances and what were the major themes of these kind of romances simply they dealt with the knights the heroic characters and also the virtue all right so the old english heroic poetry simply was replaced by the old english chivalric romance that was a different concept there we find the noble characters there we find the stories related to the king and the heroes 
but that strain ended in the early Elizabethan period or the, in the medieval period and with the time the concept of romance novel evolved in the late 18th and the 19th century and it got prominence in the middle of the 20th century that is 1950s in 1950s the romance novel was simply the love stories that focuses the love stories that focus on the heroines rather than the heroes and there were happy endings the narrative form got prominence in the middle of the 20th century for example samuel richardson's pamela that was one of the earlier romance novel of middle 18th century mid 18th century then we have jane austen's six novels like pride and prejudice all right so all the six novels of jane austen where the prose sorry where the romance novels we also discussed another term that is harlequin romance harlequin romance very important term why because there is one organization called harlequin enterprises in the canada us all right in us we have harlequin enterprises who employs more than 1300s 1300s of authors mostly women women authors and they produce they produce more than thousand of new titles every year and they literally uh, dominate the film industry the periodicals the magazines and the novel of that region and also throughout the world so what they do they have their own writers and according to their demands they publish whatever story they want all right so harley harley queen romances is a trained setting romance culture that is developed by the harley queen enterprise so it is you have you have to remember all these things because uh, the libraries all right the major organizations all these things are in the net paper all right important critical books we discuss some of the critical books which talk about the development of the romance and also which are the critic of the romantic writings for example woman and romance the consolation of gender in english novel by uh, laurie langbour we also have the excellence of falsehood romance realism woman's contribution to the novel by deborah ross the american novel and its tradition by richard chase we have the mythos of summer romance in anatomy of criticism by northrop frye frye we have the romance in america by joel pote we have romance revolution by carol thurston so these things we have discussed in the previous class i am not going to stretch any any further because the video is given on the channel you can go and simply watch the video to have the revision all right now today what do you do yes i forgot that uh, we have also covered the old english the anglo norman period the chaucerian period and the fiction writings of all these three periods all right so please go through the previous class today you start from the age of revival i think age of revival is also completed but let us have a look on the age of revival and the fictional works of the age of revival all right okay we shall so i think up to this some glimpses of the previous class is clear right and please go through the video okay and we would from today on not today on it started from the previous class we have started to give five titles a day and you have to make so, uh, small notes in one single a4 size paper you have to make the note of one single text all right that is your challenge how you do you just write down the title of the work the major text the writer's name the important publishing and some uh, types diction 
all these informations in one to ten five ten points and the main objective would be on the character and the plot all right you have to write down all the characters and the plot development of the story because in the history of english literature book you would only find the names but the questions are there from the story so you have to be acquainted with the story also so try to write down the plot in the in a sequence of event right plot is the sequence of event so you have to write down the beginning what happened in the beginning one two three four five and we would uh, also demonstrate how to do all these things in this class also all right now come to the age of revival first we would, we would go through the basic history of english literature that is written in our books right the major names all the works about the writer all these things then we would jump into the major text so simultaneously we would complete the history historical part the details of the writer at the same time the major works that is very much important then at the same time the terminologies so that is the preparation as a whole all right so that is our approach to have a very comprehensive very understandable preparation for the next net examination all right now come to the age of revival and the fictional works of the age of revival sir thomas mallory 1415 to 1471 so throughout the 15th century sir thomas mallory was there dominating the scene and his works which we will discuss only one that is le morte da arthur 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 is a legendary king of that time it was a compilation of tales of romance about king arthur and his knights of the round table so all the stories of king arthur are about his heroic deeds or about his noble knights it is the first major work of prose fiction in english literature so we would not only read but also at the same time we would mark things all right we would mark things important all right so this is very important the first work of prose fiction in english literature though we have the earlier old english fiction right the old english stories prose works but le morte di arthur is considered as the first prose fiction in english literature because we don't find the matrical that much of matrical use that we find in the old english prose works right then come to the first publication of the le morte the arthur is in 1485 that means it was published posthumously by william caxton probably you know the name william caxton william caxton was the first person who established the printing press in england all right divided into 20 books so le mal uh, morte di arthur uh, is divided into 20 books follows the stories from uther pendragon's rape of igrain of cornwall to the death of lancelot and guinevere these names are very difficult and i don't think that you need to remember many names from here but some protagonists name right so the igrain of cornwall the lancelot and the guinevere these names you need to remember so there is the story of you can find some violent works i am highlighting that all right the story of it inspired tennyson who used it for the idols of king you need to remember tennyson used the story for his idols of king and th white for his popular popular novel 
the once and future king so these two elements these two things these two facts you need to remember so two very popular adaptation use of le morte di arthur is tennyson's idols of king and t h white's the once and future king all right let me mark this two or right, add later on mark the whole book of king arthur knights of the round table so these are the story elements all his information is known from preface by caxton who published who first printed the book so the book was printed by caxton i have also discussed that now come to the next william caxton William Caxton himself was a very interesting character who was born in 1422 in Kent and he is the first English printer in 1476 Caxton returned to London and set up a press in Westminster so he went uh, abroad particularly i don't remember particularly in Italy and there he had uh, uh, his learning regarding the printing all right now when he returned to england he first established the printing press in westminster that was the first printing press in england and that introduced that was a revolution because after that so many uh, revolutions happened in the field of publication and also the book market first dated book printed in england was lord rivers translation now the first book that was printed in england was the lord rivers translation that is revised by caxton right and what is the name the name is the dictates or sangis of the philosophers lord rivers translation was printed by caxton the name is the dictates or sangis of the philosophers now william caxton not only was a publisher or a printing press owner but also he was a writer first literary effort was to translate different other language books into english that was his first enterprise he first translated medieval romances of troy the requel of the histories of troy that is the original title from the french of role lay fever early in 1469 in 1470s in cologne he learned the art of printing returning to bruges in 1472 first printed his book who who what book he printed first the lord rivers translation and the romances of troy all right in a press set up by him and carol sorry uh, collard manson a flemish calligrapher so first try to understand i uh, said that he went abroad and there he learned the skill of printing then came to england and established his own printing press he also published the game and play of chess right that is his second book from the livre de ludo sacro sacrorum of jacobus de sesolis so you can find these names so difficult because these are not english titles right but try to remember the english title that is the game and play of chess right so once again recapitulate first he published the first printed book in england that is the lord rivers translation then the romance of troy then the game play game and play of chess these are the works of william caxton and the earlier printed fiction works all right then come to thomas more we will discuss thomas more's utopia today all right thomas more was a lawyer one mp 
चांसलर इन द रेन इन द रेन ऑफ हेनरी द एथ यू नो हेनरी द एथ वॉज अ रेवल्यूशनरी कैरेक्टर हु फॉर हिज मैरिज मेड द एनिमिटी विथ द कैथोलिक चर्च ऑफ रोम यू कैन रिमेम्बर एंड द फर्स्ट टाइम द डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द प्रोटेस्टेंट एंड द कैथोलिक्स बिगान एट द टाइम ऑफ हेनरी द एथ He went to Oxford, started studying Greek, and wrote comedies. All right. His major work is *Utopia*, that today we learn. All right. That is the Greek word *Utopia*. All right. Translate as *no place* or *nowhere*. Could read in details *Utopia* today. So I am ignoring all these things. Latin poems. His Latin poems. This is not a part of today's discussion. All right. The Confutation of Tyndale's answer, Apology, the history of King Richard the Third, the four last things, the treatise upon the passion, the treatise on the blessed body, instructions and prayers, De Tristia Christi. So these are the works of our Thomas More, and the major work of discussion in the fiction or novel section. is utopia that we are going to discuss now i know that i am discussing in a very rapid manner but i have no other option because the syllabus is huge and i have to complete everything right in a short time so that much we have to discuss i am only stretching that much all right that is essential that must be covered all right i am not going in too much details i am not going in too little details i am just maintaining the decorum i am maintaining the need of the prescribed syllabus the demand of the exam all right now come to the major text all right we will discuss the major text in very detail manner because in the very detail manner why because you would be asked from the story lines in between and the question would be from middle of the narratives the quotations the characters names the development of the stories from all these things the questions are there the questions are not objective that that was in the exams from 2015 16 17 but now the questions are very easy if you have read the major texts now come to the sir how much moves utopia that would be discussed in today's class so i think up to this it is clear now i would discuss utopia we shall yes uh, go forward i think Suresh. okay all right so this is the first part of the video and i am going to end this part here in the next section we will discuss utopia please you to remain here the video would started now on but this is the end of the first part that is the discussion of the history part now we would go to the major text that is utopia in a separate video so please stay tuned and watch the video completely the next one all right that is the that is on the thomas moore's utopia thank you so much this is avilam kapadha have a nice day if you are not a part of my classes the registration link is in the description box go there and be a part of my live classes thank you so much